So it's my first day in Tokyo and I've probably slept about two hours or something like that and yeah and that's what happens when jet lag sets in but yeah I think I'm gonna have a good day anyhow and uh, let's see uh, why I'm here. So why am I in Tokyo? Well, I'm gonna meet up with uh, some of my friends from uh, this company called Superdrive. It was a part of uh, a few years back and uh, now we're collaborating on a client. So we're gonna hit up some of the meetings and try to figure out some cool stuff together. Yeah, we'll just do this now. And so uh, here we are at um, Team uh, Superdrive uh, HQ in uh, Tokyo. There they are. There. It's a helicopter flying outside just to annoy yeah. you. Perfect. That was the same thing. First time I was here, I actually held a pitch and there was uh, one of those Apache helicopters that appeared behind me. It was very, very uh, effectful. Yeah, this is where we hang out. So what we're actually doing is we're currently recording a lot of videos and they are supposed to help a company with their uh, transition or their transformation into a more digit digitally suitable business. Now, my jet lag is killing me and uh, I need to go back to the hotel to get some sleep and then continue. So if it's one thing that I've understood with Japanese culture is that there is not just one working day here. It's several working days in one. So even though you've been out to a client dinner or company dinner or something like that had a few beers which we I or which I haven't had yet at least um, you go back to work afterwards if you have a lot to do very different from Swedish work culture I would say we get drunk after work <laughs> 
but yeah, that was just something completely, something completely non, uh, not on topic. Either way, in Tokyo, I think the sound will be disturbed by all the cars, but I don't really care. I'm filming it again. Weird. I need the travel to do that, I guess. So I don't know if it's because it's only here or only here that I go there, but there is this store that is very much like H&M, which I go to every single time when I'm here. It's called Uniqlo. For some reason, I think all the clothes in there fit me. Consumerism. Naturally, I got something that I didn't need this time as well, and yeah, <sighs> I guess it's just the way the way it is when I go into this store, and get stuff. So yeah, let's just continue this. probably pick up someone's baby and go like oh, you're so cute. <laughs> or something like that kind of racist of me <laughs> but as one of my friends said the other night why don't we just get rid of all the white people we were two white guys at the table and we just got quiet because kind of made sense 